Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2018 general reading. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers. Uh, thanks for all your like, share, subscribe, support, feedback and comments. Thanks to all of my clients out there, both regular and new, for keeping me so busy with personal readings. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can get more info and contact details by clicking on the description bar <coughs> of any of the videos I post. Excuse me. Uh, clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button there. Uh, feel free to email me directly at Maggie the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Turnaround time is usually pretty good as I do readings full time five to six days a week. It is what I do and I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with more info. Uh, during the holidays, of course, the sooner booked the better. Uh, but I do work pretty diligently with people's schedules. I do a wide variety of readings in all main areas of life of all different types and lengths and costs. So there's a variety to choose from if you're interested. And you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. And that link is also provided. Uh, Instant Go is is good. Well, there's a lot of options there, particularly one question options. Instant Go, I think it's best for uh, fast answers to the fast, easy questions. The more complex or intensive readings, uh, I think traditional readings are probably best but it's another option to choose from so all right let's move right into this this reading is for the earth sign of Capricorn for the month of December 2018 so let's see what's in store for our Capricorns for December 2018 uh, if you know your rising and moon sign watch those as well general readings always resonate a little differently and watching the other your other signs can provide additional clarification all right, Capricorn, let's see what's in store for you for December. We begin with the Queen of Cups, followed by the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Empress. We have the Tower, followed by the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands, followed by the High Priestess. And from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and guidance for the month is the Knight of Wands. So <clears throat> Capricorn, it looks like we end November, begin December, as I am doing these videos at the very end of November, the last few days. Uh, there may be a water sign person in your life which is significant uh, during the month of December, particularly in this particular situation. We have a Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sometimes can be a very maternal energy, uh, very loving, supportive, nurturing, in control and in tune with her emotions. Great source of uh, love, support, feedback, comfort, and encouragement. Always knows the right thing to say. Very patient. Um, this card is also about being very in touch with your feelings and your intuition. In fact, the, the, the only uh, person I feel in the deck which, which exceeds or rivals the Queen of Cups for her ability to be in tune with her intuition, in touch with spirit, and allowing that to guide her is the High Priestess. And you have her in this reading too. So definitely I feel a very strong theme this month, particularly in this situation with even if you get opposition from other people about some new beginning or a new start to something, I feel like you really need to follow your feelings and your intuition and where it's leading you. That Queen of Cups is um, clarified by the Three of Cups, which is a card of celebration. Um, and this is the holiday month. You might be going out to a lot of Christmas or New Year's parties and really enjoying yourself. This is about connecting with friends, family, loved ones, and having a really good time and also great connections within your community as well. Uh, so you may be going out and enjoying yourself quite a bit. Um, and I feel like there's a very good friendship in here too. It might be a particular friendship, a particular friend showing up as a queen here, but it could be a male as well, who's really like a kindred spirit sort of friend and is really maybe kind of giving you a lot of support and encourage encouragement in moving forward in this new thing that you want to do, which from your overall energy with the Knight of Wands is very fast moving, aggressive, assertive, making it happen, charging forward kind of energy, very fast moving. So there's an opportunity to start something new coming in, maybe around the second week or so, time always being fluid, of course, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Knights are the bringers, the deliverers of the tarot. So they often represent something coming in, an offer, an opportunity. They can 
can also represent the speed at which a situation moves. And this is the Knight of Pentacles, which is Earth energy. Uh, it's a slower, steadier, step-by-step, -step, attention to detail kind of energy. Out of all four of the Knights, the Knight of Pentacles moves a slower. So this might be a slower moving offer or opportunity. Uh, but I don't really... I hear the Knight of Pentacles described as slow moving, but I don't feel like he is per se. I think all four of the Knights are known for being, Knights are known for being fast, spontaneous, impulsive, sometimes even fanatical because they have a mission, a quest, so they're very single-minded and focused about that. And I, it's my feeling that all four of the Knights move uh, faster than the average, the other average court card here. Um, because they're knights. But out of all four of the knights, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest, but he's the most reliable, steady. So this is an offer or opportunity coming in of a practical nature, a tangible nature. The Knight of Pentacles can sometimes show up for a job offer, a job opportunity, uh, or uh, you know, just something about starting a new project. Um, there's an opportunity to start something new coming in. It might be an actual job offer for some of you or a project for others of you. And what clarifies it is the Empress, which is a card of fertility. So what does fertility really mean? Fertility actually means that the time is right to conceive, to plant seeds so that you can, you know, nurture and manifest it as time goes on into uh, its full potential. So it actually ends up giving back to you. That's the symbiotic nature of everything we're in relationship with. So the, when the emperor shows up, it's usually a good time. It says that the time is right to start something, a new project, new relationships. It's time to start planting the seed. So it looks like there's an offer or opportunity coming in for you, uh, Capricorn. Um, to start and something new for some of you I feel like it may be a new you may it may be like starting your own business or starting with a partner it could be with a partner starting your own business or it, it feels like it's branching off on your own somehow it might be for some of you who are younger it might be moving out of the house it feels like you're it feels like you're starting something independently maybe in an entrepreneurial sort of way I feel like you have some support and an offer and it could be a partnership too, but you're kind of branching, you're, you're breaking away from one thing in order to go forward and do that. It might be family system or something of that sort. Um, but it looks like a really good opportunity. And again, it feels very fast moving. Now around the third week or so, we have the energy of the tower and the nine of pentacles. And I feel like I'm, this nine of pentacles, which clarifies the tower, is a card of independent self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, of being in a good place, particularly financially and materially, as a result of your own hard work, being able to take care of yourself and live very well or very comfortably and not needing anybody else's help or support to do that, either emotionally uh, Although if you have a partner, there's nothing wrong with that either. This Nine of Pentacles represents somebody who loves who they are, where they're going, where they've been, everything that they've worked hard for. And while they may choose to join their lives or partner with other people for romantic or, or financial reasons, they don't need to. They're able to take care of themselves. Independent, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment. And it clarifies the tower, which usually represents a significant or life-changing event that shakes up something solid, stable, and reliable to make way for something new. And it looks like it's the right time to do this because that tower directly follows the empress. Now is the right time for this ending to happen so that you can kind of branch out on this new thing, whether it's a new job, a new job opportunity, a new business by yourself or entrepreneurial. I feel like there's an offer of some kind of support, whether that's just maybe funding or actual partnership. I'm not sure, but I feel like this tower is sort of initiated by you or by the choice that you've made to kind of branch out Capricorn. Uh, and it feels very positive. Even though the tower can represent a lot of challenging energy, maybe a lot of opposition, maybe you're breaking off out on your own and what you're breaking away from. You know, people are like, no, you can't do that or that's not a good idea. But it looks like um, this is the right time to do it. And you have this very strong intuitive sense about it with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess that you need to stick with. Because the, right next to the tower is the Five of Wands, which is a card of conflict, circular arguments going back and forth. And I really feel like this is linked to whatever decision that you've made. It may be causing a lot of chaos or uproar with family or friends or people who think, you know, you're not doing the right thing. But it's clarified by the High Priestess who 
allows divine timing orchestration her intuitive sense to guide her you have both these incredibly spiritual individuals it could be another person in your life uh, who is helping guide and lead and support you as well but it's definitely very important during the month of December particularly with this new venture it looks like it's the right time for it even though it may cause some temporary chaos you really need to follow your feelings and your intuition about this because it's something that puts you either leads you to this or puts you on the path towards this empowered independent energy very fast moving uh, so it looks like a pretty exciting month for you, Capricorn, with the holidays coming as well. We'll see what happens during the mid-month reading. So Capricorn, that pretty much wraps up your December 2018 general reading. I hope you found it uh, helpful. Again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, uh, you can get my contact details by clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post or going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on the little About button there. Uh, please email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be happy to work with you and set up a reading as quickly as we can. Uh, I do love and romance, of course, relationship compatibility charting, as well as reconciliation potential. Um, and I also do uh, career and, career work and, and finance readings, as well as investment readings. And I do six and 12 month overviews, uh, which are uh, used as a, uh, an in-depth spread, which takes a look at what's coming in your life and all the main areas of life over the next six or 12 months a period of time depending on how far ahead you want to look and you can do them any time of the year but they seem to be particularly popular I get a lot of requests for them around November December January as we're you know transitioning out of an old year and looking ahead or go moving into a new year a lot of people like to take a look ahead so something to consider um, during this time of year and gift readings as well uh, personal readings make lovely presents uh, for friends family loved ones during the holiday season so something else to to think about. So Capricorn, I'll see you all again in a couple of weeks for the December mid-month readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care. Bye-bye.